A Joomla template is a package of files that's installed within the control panel or the back end of your Joomla instance. Templates control the overall look and layout of the Joomla site. They provide a framework that brings together elements like articles, menu items, modules, and other components. A template organizes what you see on the web page, and it's possible to use multiple templates and assign different templates to different pages. But this tutorial will walk you through the basics of using templates in Joomla 3.2. To access your template manager, click on the template manager link in the configuration menu here, or use the extensions drop down menu and click on template manager. In the Template Manager, you'll notice that there are four pre-installed templates ready for you to use. Two of the templates, Hathor and Isis, are administrator templates for the back end of your Joomla instance, and two are site templates for the front end of the Joomla instance. The default column indicates which template you're currently using. Click on the star for the Hathor template in the back end, and we get an entirely different look and feel for the back end. There are many administrative templates available in the Joomla community that you can look for to find the look and feel that works best for you. I've grown accustomed to the ISIS template, so I'm going to change it back, but I want you to notice this green message that appears. Whenever you save something successfully in Joomla, you'll see the green message. You might also receive a red message, letting you know that you did not make a save successfully. Right now, I'm going to change the default site template to Bs3. We'll see the green message appear again. I'll return to the front end of the page and refresh. Notice how we get a different look and feel. The Bs3 template for Joomla 3 is a little bit harder to use than the Protostar template. There are many templates available in the community that you can pick from, but we're going to focus the rest of these tutorials around the Protostar template. I'll return to the back end of the site, select Protostar as our default site template, we get our green message again and we'll return to the front end yet again and refresh, and we will have reverted back to the Protostar template. The Protostar does allow some customization in the back end, and I'll illustrate that in just a minute. But if you're ever looking for a template in the Joomla community, you should always look for a module map. Now this is the Protostar module map, and I found this document in the cloudaccess.net knowledge base. The module map outlines all the positions you have available for content on your site. For example, notice this logo module position. We're going to use this as we return to the back end of the site and open up the Protostar template to start customizing. Click on the template name, and then click on the Advanced tab so you can see some of the options you have for customization. Notice there's a template color and a template background and a logo option. I'm going to click on the select button to upload a logo to feature through this template. Now I've already uploaded my art gallery logo that I want to select and use, but notice how there are also some Joomla logos. These are images that come with your Joomla instance. You can delete these later if you like. I'll select the image here and the image URL will appear. If you want to upload your own logo, scroll to the bottom of this window, choose the file from your computer and click on the Start Upload button. Once you have your image uploaded, select it and then click on the Insert button. Returning to the Protostar page, you'll notice that file appear in the Logo option. If you save your work and return to the front end of your site, refresh the page, you'll notice that your logo now appears in that logo position. Referring back to your Protostar module map, you can see how the logo that you've added now corresponds to the logo position in the template. By returning to the back end of the site, you can also control template color. Now the template color controls headings and buttons. I'm going to change this to black. I'll save my work. I'll return to the front end of the site refresh the page and you'll see how the buttons and headings and links change to black. If I return to the back end of the site again, I can also change the background color. I'll also change this to black. I'll save my work again, return to the front end of the site, refresh the page, and the background changes to black too. Some users dislike that white container that holds the content. And if you return to the back end of the site and select Fluid Layout, save your work, return to the front end of the page, and refresh, 
your content will take up the entirety of the browser window in which it's displayed. Now I have grown accustomed to using that white container for the Protostar template, so I'll return to the back end and I'm going to switch back to that static layout. I'll save my work again and I'll return to the front end of the site. By refreshing the page, we'll see the white container reappear. Now, one of the coolest parts about Joomla 3 templates, including the Protostar template, is that they are responsive. I'm going to adjust this window size and we'll see the content of our template adjust accordingly. This is a responsive template. Now we're going to make this the size of a smartphone. Let's expand this a little bit. I'm going to change the size of this just a little bit so it looks like a smartphone and you'll notice how the content looks pretty good. Let's expand this a little bit so it looks like a tablet for instance and you'll notice how our content responds again. We're going to use the Protostar for the rest of these tutorials, but there are many templates in the community for you to pick from. The next tutorial in this series is going to show you how to install an extension in your Joomla site.